Time for our Sprint Unlimited Update. Turnovers, well, Utah with three. That's led to 11 Sun Devil points. John Hayes, his first career start, 160-yard passing, but he has thrown a couple of interceptions. And Utah has scored on the first possession of each half. And then they've had some, well, some stall-out issues. You're going to have to find a way to maintain a drive. Had to use a fake punt last drive and a flea flicker in order to score. Can they maintain a drive against Arizona State? Sun Devil show the blitz on the play action. Hayes rolls out, throws, so a dangerous pass. And the whistle is incomplete at the 31-yard line. Now they're going the other way. Clint Floyd. Clint Floyd's second interception of the season. Just rolling Hayes out. He throws it late into the flat and behind his tight end, Jake Murphy. And Floyd was right there for the defense. They give the ball right back to Arizona State. And Brock Osweiler. Oh, it looked like a hop, but he caught it indeed. Pick number three thrown by Hayes. Osweiler wants to run. This game in trouble for Utah. And Osweiler inside the 10 to the 9-yard line. This team is absolutely fired up, Petros. Willie, Mike Willie with a huge block there. Osweiler scampering around the field. Well, what you're starting to see here is belief that Arizona State has. They knew they could play well at home. They dominated USC in Tempe. But here they are on the road having success, forcing turnovers and getting that offense working. Four turnovers on the day for Utah. And Arizona State taking advantage. All right, now you can tell the dominant, most confident team, confident team on the field is are the Arizona State Sun Devils. Well, how about Brock Osweiler and his decision-making ability? He sees green grass, and then Mike Willie's going to come in with a huge block on the Utah defender. And Osweiler dives forward to close to the five-yard line. Off Marshall walks in. Touchdown, Sun Devils. You give Arizona State the football, and they will take advantage. And it's they've done so today. It's hard to blame this Utah defense. They've just been on the field too much, and now gaping holes in the Utah defensive front, opening up for Cameron Marshall. You could have driven a truck through that hole into the end zone for the Sun Devils. Now Marshall came in as the Pac-12 leader in touchdown, rushing touchdowns. He now has eight and the extra point up and good. 28-14, Utah led 14-10. Now the lead belongs to the Sun Devils. <laughs> 